Are you looking for your soulmate? Many people start off saying that they can provide a soulmate for you, but have you ever taken the 120 day challenge for finding your soulmate? We have Jeff Kral here. He has written a book called The Fifth Power for Relationships, and he has proven that his 120 day love challenge really works. So thank you so much for joining us, Jeff. Absolutely. Now we are excited to learn more about this and what your secret powers for relationship building are. Yeah. So 46 dates in 120 days. 43. 43, oh sorry. 43 all dates. All right, those yeah. three made all the yeah, difference. Th three more the three would have been way need. too much. The I didn't need those need. extra three, exactly. <laughs> so, so that's us. more than one every three days. Exactly. Okay. Were they so was 40, it a lunch dinner? Deal? Were they forty three right. different women? They were uh, thirty two different women. Okay. And a few of them I went obviously on second dates uh -huh. with. Okay. So. Interesting. So yeah. let's just cut right to the chase. Like <laughs> how, there, are, if people knew your method, we'd have yeah. a lot more soulmates, right? <laughs> I believe so. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So and you and there are like five secret powers. There's five secret powers okay. that I do. She's so I, totally into this. I'm totally I into this. I know. This is so much fun. And in People the end, love she's going to turn around and it. use it on me. I totally was going to say that. I totally was, was going to be like, are you listening? <laughs> I knew that was coming, so please yes. share yeah. with us what are the secret powers. Okay, so so there's five key secret powers that I teach inside mm -hmm. my book, and so uh, each of those were the same principles I used in helping uh, the executives and CEOs that I used mm -hmm. to find their clients. Mm -hmm. And I just I, at one time I had this epiphany, and I mm -hmm. thought, wow, I should probably do what I what I teach others to right. do, right? And I got off the phone and I was all mad because I didn't want to do it, it right? Just like yet. I've told them to do it. And then I, I knew I had to. So, so I, I put the five powers down. And uh, so the first one, I like to start with the secret power, okay, which is the good. fifth power. Okay. And, uh, I like that idea. And that the reason kind of being is the fifth power is more about your intention. It's mm. how you show up and your way of being. Mm. So most of the time we're not even conscious on how we show up because mm -hmm. we don't come with a tension uh, or a certain way of being mm. that we want to be. Mm -hmm. Like you know, if you wanted to, you know, crawl through a uh, you know a mud pile, you have to be a certain way to get through it as fast as possible. Right. Or you know, you could be the person that's oh, I don't want to do this and just mm -hmm. you know go down that road, and it takes twice as long. Right. I Got have it. I have four kids, mm -hmm. and I, you could see it in the kids, right? It mm -hmm. could take them a half hour to brush their teeth. Or it could take them two minutes. Yeah, right. Or in the case of what's my the daughter, motivation? And, what's and it's, the motivation? You know, and it's that intention. Yeah. So if they have that intention ahead of time, then you know you're, you're more likely to get your outcome quicker. So what is the intention that you want to show up for on the date? Do you, yeah. do you think in your head, I want to find my soulmate, or do you come thinking, I want to get to know this person, or how does it go? Yeah. So for me, uh, my intention through all my dates was to. Uh, be happy, mm. be adventurous, mm -hmm. and be fun. Mm. And those I are my and those are my three things. If, if I went on a date, no matter mm. how they were on the other side, mm -hmm. my goal was to show up with those three. I love that because I feel like I did it totally wrong the first time, and I did it a lot more like what you're talking about the second time. Where the first time I was like super focused on like checking off my list of like what is the person that I want, right? Mm. And then the second time I was like. Okay, I did that wrong the first time. I want to. I want to be able to like. What can I actually control? And like that's what yeah. you're saying, right? Like mm -hmm. I can be happy. I can be adventurous. I can be fun. And then what I did the second time around was like, is this relationship currently like bringing me value and making me a better person? Yeah. So I really, I think that the way that you're talking about that is really, really cool. Well, yeah. and it's, it seems to me at least, I, mean, I met Jeff outside of an event. We were standing mm -hmm. outside the door and mm -hmm. he just started talking to me. Mm -hmm. And of course I'm going to talk back, but he is all those things, mm -hmm. you know, happy, adventurous, <laughs> fun, mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of like fearless in that yeah, way. Yeah, so we can which, add authentic to it So as I well. think yeah. authentic yeah. is really the key. <laughs> and that's good yeah. too. Yeah. And that, and that, and I, and I also have a purpose. So uh -huh. that's the other thing that hangs above all of that is mm -hmm. I have a purpose through integrity, through fun and happiness that I empower others to live an extraordinary life beyond our belief and to mm. live a life of endless possibilities. Wow. Mm. And that's how I want to show up no matter where I'm at. Mm. And, and then I set the intentions 
for that particular moment. Mm. And I think that makes a huge difference for people to get the outcome that they want, mm -hmm. but more importantly, have fun while they're doing, right. you know. Yeah, what, totally. What they love. So I how many that. dates did it take with your wife? How many <laughs> actually did, how many did she get of the <laughs> of the 43? Well, it's kind of a unique story too with my wife because uh, my wife I met at a barbecue and my friend was there and he brought her and he knew my journey. Mm -hmm. um, he However, brought her as his date? As, no, just as like a friend to, oh. the, bar, uh, to the party. To okay. set you up with? Yeah, to set me up mm -hmm. with. Okay. And, and so, uh, so anyhow, I met her and then uh, I was actually talking with other women at the time mm -hmm. and she actually came to me because she was attracted to me mm -hmm. by who I was being and, uh, and said, oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you. And then before you know it, we're together. Mm -hmm. And we had a great conversation. Like I just, I, I had a good feeling with her mm -hmm. right there in that moment. Uh, but I had a dilemma, mm -hmm. and that was, uh, you know, I had two weeks full of dates. Oh, <laughs> so so, what did so you the do? conversation was going to be, That's such oh, you know what? Why don't we point, get uh, together? Let me check my calendar. You know, how does two and a half weeks go? You know, I'm available on uh, you know two Wednesdays from now. Yeah. Wow, that doesn't I, I, sound like didn't the sound too that good. You wanted. Yeah. Didn't sound too good. Yeah. So I, I just, I, you know, I, at the time I just told her that you know I really enjoyed our conversation. I'm sure I'll see you around. You know, my friend Charles. So uh, so you was, let so you let her hang I for a little hang. bit. That's I did. Smart. And, Got uh, her even more interested. But it, what was interesting is, that is how she it works? she went back to Charles and Charles said, "Oh no, you he liked you. Uh -huh. I could tell." He liked you, and yeah. uh, so she actually uh, came to an event. It was like a training event, mm -hmm. and uh, Charles knew I'd be there, and she knew that too because we talked about it. Mm -hmm. And she just came as like one of my guests, is uh, to show up mm -hmm. and surprise me. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing that just threw it just to that next, next level. level. I just like how bold, how adventurous. Yeah. You know, this is a woman that I want to spend more well, time with. Well, how cool that she fit the requirements of what you wanted to yeah. show up with yeah. too. Yeah. And That's she did. really cool. And she did. And she fit all yeah. five of the, uh, I had five mm -hmm. little qualities that mm -hmm. I was looking for or attributes mm -hmm. that I that were like, for me, a must. What were what are your what five? Were they? <laughs> <Yeah>. we <laughs> it's need my number one know. question. I we always get it. Yeah. So my, my five were is one that that they were independent. Okay. So, like, they had a career and they could support yeah, themselves. For sure. uh, two, that they were into personal development. So, uh -huh. they had like an open mind type mindset. Mm -hmm. I always told people, uh, when, because when I'd ask them to refer, introduce me mm -hmm. to someone, I would say, you know, they, they always have a self help book. They go to seminars, mm -hmm. you know, they're always wow. asking, you know, mm -hmm. questions about themselves mm -hmm. and how they could be a better person. I was like, that's the type of person mm -hmm. I'm looking for. And then the third one was their athletic. Mm -hmm. So she needed to either be into a sport, because I'm very athletic. Uh -huh. I play almost every sport competitively. Mm. And so I wanted someone that was athletic or in sports. Uh -huh. And then I thought, and then, so I said they'd either be in a league or there's someone that just, that's a junkie at the gym. They yeah, love going fun. to the gym yeah, all the mm -hmm, time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the next one was they could deal with my sense of humor. Oh, <laughs> So that's I good. have a very uh, unique sense of humor where I like to dish things back and forth because and have you can fun. Because yeah. I can take it and I mm -hmm. want them to be able to take it and I want them to be able to dish it back. Mm -hmm. And so that was important to me. Yes. And then, uh, and then lastly, they had they wanted to have a family. They mm -hmm. wanted to have you know two or three kids you know in the next few years. Mm, okay. And I was really clear about that. Yeah. You know, I was looking for someone mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And there was many dates I even turned down just because you know they didn't want to have a family mm -hmm. or they were uncertain that they wanted to have right. a family, which and, was okay. And that was a, absolutely. That's but for were. you, that's what you wanted, and so then you know you're narrowing the. Yeah. narrowing the scope. So, yeah. yeah, and I found that, that that utilized my time more efficiently because mm -hmm. I knew that I'd rather be on a date where she could potentially be the one. Sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had you a lot of time to waste. And I didn't have time to waste, and I had a lot at, sta at stake. I really put some pressure on myself. Mm -hmm. um, I think I told you guys mm -hmm. that I uh, I purchased two fully paid cruise tickets. Right 
for me and the woman of my dreams, not knowing who she was. <laughs> <laughs> and so, well, you know, they always say, give yourself a, a deadline and you'll get you know, it done, you gotta right? put a deadline. <laughs> you know, some people like to, you know, put mm. negative consequences right. and so on. Right. For me, I just thought of a positive consequence. Very and, smart. You know, and I felt that we could enjoy that. Uh -huh. It was still, you know, it was eight months or eight months away. Right. And uh, unfortunately, when I bought the tickets, they needed a name by August. So technically, oh. I only had between March and oh. August to, to actually, actually figure out who put it was. the name. And because, that's interesting. <laughs> and? and that put a little bit more pressure because I thought I had it until the end of the year. And as soon so as that, I found that out. That takes it from eight months to 120 days. It does. I get it. Exactly. <laughs> Hence the 120 <laughs> days. The 120 Perfect. Day challenge. Yeah. Okay, so we're running out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our producer sure, challenge, sure. but tell me the other four. Okay, so, uh, so intention is the fifth. It's the, the secret power one. of clarity and focus. Clarity and focus. Mm -hmm. Then there's the power of asking and asking. communing and uh -huh. community. Okay. And then there's the power of uh, action and preparation. Smart. And then uh, and then reflection. Oh, so, interesting. Okay, so yeah, great. So and how do we get the in-depth view? It's on. It's in a book, right? It's a Kindle yep. book, right? Yeah. So how do we go to it? You can just go on Amazon. So it's right available on mm -hmm. Amazon. It's uh, it's the fifth power uh, for relationships. So mm -hmm. if you type that in, or just type my name, Jeff Crawl, mm -hmm. and you can go to my website, which is jeffcrawl.com, okay. as well. Okay. And uh, you know, and I have some free things on my website, which is really cool. I do three. Uh, videos for uh, for people that that uh, sign in, mm -hmm. and there are three videos on the three most crucial things I think you could do right now mm -hmm. to find your soulmate even quicker. Oh, Perfect. Wow, that's yeah. wonderful. So, All fun. right. Well, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Absolutely. This was really fun, and I'm excited to. I I have a feeling that there are a lot of things I could use in my current relationship with that book as well. Oh, so yeah. I'll be reading it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>